Ever heard of tensors and wondered what they are? Well, let's dive into the world of tensors and see how they differ from vectors. At its most basic, a tensor is a container for data acting as a multidimensional array. If you're picturing a single number, you're thinking of a zero-dimensional tensor, also known as a scalar. What about a line of numbers? That's a one-dimensional tensor, which you might already know as a vector. And when you expand to a grid or a cube of numbers, you've just stepped into the realm of two- and three-dimensional tensors. But don't stop there. The fascinating world of tensors doesn't limit itself to three dimensions. In fact, it revels in going beyond, exploring the complexities of multidimensional spaces. So, while vectors are tensors, they are only the beginning. Tensors are the next step, and they can go even beyond three dimensions. So, what's the difference between vectors and tensors, you might ask? Well, it begins with understanding that all vectors are tensors, but not all tensors are vectors. Intriguing, right? Let's break it down. Vectors are essentially one-dimensional tensors. Picture them as arrows pointing in a specific direction with a particular magnitude or length. Whether it's a gentle breeze blowing east or a rocket blasting off into space, vectors provide a simple way to visualize these scenarios. However, tensors are the real stars of this show, offering far more versatility. They're not limited to a single dimension. They can be zero-dimensional like scalars or one-dimensional like vectors, but they can also be two-dimensional like matrices or even exist in dimensions that boggle the mind. So while vectors are fantastic for representing quantities with direction and magnitude, tensors elevate the game by encapsulating data across multiple dimensions. Tensors, on the other hand, can be any dimension, from 0D scalars, 1D vectors, 2D matrices, to even higher dimensions. Wondering where tensors come into play in the real world? Let's explore. Imagine you have a colorful image. This image isn't just a flat entity. It has width, height, and color channels like red, green, and blue. In terms of tensors, we can represent this as a three-dimensional tensor. Fascinating, isn't it? Now let's take things up a notch. Consider a video. What's a video but a sequence of images, right? So just like an image, a video has width, height, and color channels. But it also has another dimension, time. Each frame in the video is an image, and these images change over time. Therefore, we can represent a video as a four-dimensional tensor. It's like we're adding another layer to our understanding. So we've seen how tensors can represent images and videos, but where else are they used? Here's a hint. It's a field that's been making headlines for the past few years. Yes, you guessed it, machine learning. Machine learning, and more specifically neural networks, heavily use tensors. Each layer of a neural network takes in a tensor, processes it in some way, and outputs another tensor. This allows these models to handle diverse and complex data such as images, sound, and even text. Let's take the example of a self-driving car. It uses cameras to capture its surroundings, which are processed as tensors. The neural network in the car analyzes these tensors to understand the environment and make decisions. In another example, Think about voice assistants like Alexa or Siri. They process your voice, which is an audio signal, as a tensor to understand and respond to your commands. In machine learning, especially in neural networks, tensors are key. They allow us to input, process, and interpret data in multiple dimensions, helping AI understand complex patterns. So there you have it. Tensors are an incredible tool, serving as multidimensional arrays that encompass scalars, vectors, and matrices. Whether it's a lone number or a complex grid of data, tensors can handle it all, making them a versatile and crucial component in various fields. We've seen how they differ from vectors, which are their one-dimensional counterparts, and how they can extend into dimensions that go beyond our three-dimensional perception. But it's not all abstract mathematics and theoretical physics. These tensors come into play in our daily lives too. Every image we see, every video we watch, every AI application we interact with, they all use tensors. These complex data structures help machine learning models to process and interpret multidimensional data, enabling the AI to understand intricate patterns and respond appropriately. Next time you watch a video or use an AI app, remember the tensors working behind the scenes.